What's up, y'all? It's Jonathan Rollins. I'm back with another reaction to a Swedish classic. Before we get started, I want to remind you about my comedy club, The Laugh House. We're back the first week of September. Tickets are out right now. Early bird tickets are out there. If you know you're going to be there and you want some cheaper tickets, they're out there for you. And you, as a viewer and a subscriber, you get a discount. Use the code REACT, R-E-A-C-T, to get discounts on tickets to any show all season. And we got a lot going on with comedians coming from all over the world to make you laugh. Come be a part of it, thelaughhouse.se. I hope to see you there. Make sure to say hello if you see me at a show. And now for today's reaction. Today, I'll be reacting to a song called Helly Dogs Kvel i Timer Koyan. It's a nice title for a song, and it's by Torsten Bergman. And the version that we're gonna hear today is a live performance on the show, Hylans Hörna. That's what was suggested for me to check out, so gotta do it. A little bit about the song, it was released in 1967 on the album of the same name. The song was debuted to the public on March 6th, which is my son's birthday, by the way. Shout out to you, son. But this was in 1965. It was on a TV show, He Lunds Her Na, which I recently found out was a nationally televised talk show back in the day. The song's lyrics are a poem by Dan Anderson. Portions of the lyrics are from something called Kolva Torrens Visor, which came out way back in 1915. So don't be surprised if some of the lyrics go right over my head and I don't understand some references or stuff like that. Sometimes it happens with older lyrics. I'm sorry, I just, I still have only been here for 10 years and some references miss me. I try my best though. Fun fact, this version became so popular that a lot of artists made their own. Harry Brandelius, Hootenanny Singers, Staffan Hellstrand, and many other artists have their own recordings with this version of the song. Torsten and his career released over 20 records between 1966 and 2003. I have absolutely no idea what this is gonna sound like, but I'm gonna make a guess that it goes something like, Cafe. <laughs> what am I talking about, man? <laughs> oh, well, that's my guess. And I was having to see if I'm right, I'm probably right because, uh, you know, I, that's just what I do, man. <laughs> Let's uh, check it out. Here is Heli Dos Kvel i Timer Koyan by Torstein Bergman. It might be Torstein Bergman. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but here we go. Ganska länge, även om nu det här är en debut. Ja, jag har hållit på i ju 13 år cirka. Helt bara oh, för wow. det Ja, i köket. Vad har du för yrke? Resebyråman. Resebyråman. Kan ju hända att du får ut och resa med det, det vet man inte. Mm. Skulle du vilja det? Ja, definitivt. Ja. <laughs> What type of chit-chat? Något svenskt skulle det vara. Ja, vi hade tänkt det. Har du tänkt då då? Det är Dan Anderssons Hilda Skvill i Timmerkojan. Tycker du uppriktigt sagt inte så mycket om att sjunga svenskt du? Jag vet inte, jag tycker det är svårare. Du har inte gjort det, nej. Ja, det, det är magligare. När vi bad dig så blev du lite överraskad. Ja, jag hade inte riktigt väntat med det faktiskt. Men jag tycker det är svårare. Ja, desto intressant är frågan så hör jag. <laughs> How boring are you? <laughs> What? Let's go. Så, fint. Tack. Bort längtande vik hit ur sotiga bröst. Wow. Vik bekymmer ur snöhörlida bo. Jag är vi har kött. Hold on a second, man. That, it was, he was so meek at the very beginning of this when the guy was interviewing him and talking to him. And he was just like, hmm, hmm, hmm. like mumbling his way through it. Then he starts playing the guitar and this powerful baritone comes out. Wow. Let's keep going. Jag är, vi har kött. 
Vi har brännvin till tröst Här är helg djupt i skogarnas ro Sjöng Björnbergs jord Ur din fullaste hals Om kärlek och ungdom och vår Stäm fiolen, brogren Och spela en vals För spökblåa mån lysa snår Det är mil efter mil till lador och hus Där frosten går tjurig vid grin Här är det lustigt i ståkhällens gula ljus Som fladdrar i nattens vind Du är fager, brogring, i eldlands rök När du gnider din svarta fjol I gotta say, this is like enchanting. Like I feel like I'm uh, in a, in a, some type of trance as I listen to his voice. It's almost hypnotic. And then I'm just like cruising through this. They've added little elements. There's like a little... I don't know if it's a shaker or if they're just rubbing something on a, a snare drum, but that the whole thing is just like filling up the song so nicely. Really into it. Let's keep going. Och där du sitter vid grytan din En baron i Fast en åren har garvat ditt sega skinn I ditt sot är du ung som en Och Varifors Fredrik, du skrattande man Som vill alla uslingar väl Kom och sjung om din ungdom, synd om du kan Och en skål för din gås Mm-hmm. Och när morgonen skär Når blekna och dö Och dimmorna stelna till i Och när gryningen skälver på myr och sjö Vi sova på doftande ry Så var vi alla på gran ristund och drömma om bleka mörk. Och snarka och vända oss manligt och lugnt medan elden falnar och Wow. I start by saying that's Torsten, 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 Torsten Bergman with Helidas Kväll i Timmerkojen. It's amazing to see that that was his first like big performance like that, like being on on television like that, national TV, and just, he was so 
modest and quiet and then came out and just slammed it, man. <laughs> it was wonderful. It was an awkward little impre uh, pre-show interview, though. That thing when he was just like, hum, so, uh, uh, mumbling and stuff and then fixed the mic for him. I thought it looked like it might end up being a fiasco, but then he just whew, landed the plane beautifully. Well done. Love the song. I don't, uh, some of it, like I suspected, went over my head. There was words I hadn't ever seen before. Quelver? Never heard it. Nope. Drew a blank. Mur. That was, uh, I don't think I heard that word before, but I'm just gonna go through and maybe find a translation for it. You can put one in the comments for me if you want to explain the song. I know the song is about a wonderful night in his cabin. I do understand that and it sounded poetic and beautiful, but some stuff just went over my dumb head. <laughs> but that didn't keep it from being a wonderful song, a wonderful performance, and I gotta call it an old school banger. Old school banger, something that I would listen to again. It's something I would play, not while making dinner, but while eating dinner, like something that just goes on in the background, such a nice vibe, and I'm just like having a, a nice evening. I don't have a fireplace, but listening to the song will make me feel like I have a fireplace. <laughs> it sounds like a winter type of song too. The vibe feels like, it's not one to throw out in the summer, like a winter banger type of thing. I like it a lot. Thanks for the suggestion. You too can leave suggestions right down in the comments. I go in there and I check those out regularly. That's the only way I can find out what these songs are. If you see a suggestion you think is good, go ahead and leave a like on it. Let's me know that more people think it's a classic and I'll add it to the ever-growing list. The next song I'll be reacting to is called Instant Repeater 99 by Soundtrack of Our Lives. I'm guessing that's gonna be in English, but we'll see. Stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, get notifications, and all that jazz. Most importantly, spread the word. Let people know about this American comedian living in Sweden, reacting to classic Swedish music. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next classic. Peace.